85 South Show 2024 BET Awards exclusive. I don't want to talk to nobody who ain't interesting. And today, I'm talking to a legend. <laughs> if you know, you know. This is a real legend now. Uh, I told you I was going to make sure you got to the 2024 BET Awards and I wasn't bringing you around nobody but the best that this entertainment industry has wow. to offer. And we got none other than the OG himself. Eric Benet is in here well, with us. What's up? What type of intro you hey, get, man? Every- I need I need that intro everywhere I go, man. man. I love that. Grocery cool. stores and all. Hey, all that. When I wake up in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> this is, you a legend. Wake up. I like that. <laughs> you are. Man, thank you for that, man, sir. You've been giving us hits for years. Man, I ain't done yet. Mm. Man, how does it feel? It feels it feels uh gratitude, man. That's the word. Gratitude. I mean, you know, it sounds like a uh Something you see on a poster, uh, inspirational poster, but it's the truth. It's like the more gratitude you feel every time something happens like that, every time I, I come out with a song that starts going up the charts, you know, don't take it to the ego place, take it to the gratitude place. And then that just like feeds it feeds uh, more blessings, you know? So, I mean, that's what it feels like. And, uh, uh, you know, we're doing it again. I got to single out with Tamar Braxton that we're going she, for ads. She is incredible, man. Come on. Shout yeah. out to like, Tamar. Love shout her. out to Tamar. Like, we go, we go for ads uh, at radio next week, and it's already blowing up. So it's, uh, but she sounds incredible on it. The song is called Something We Can Make Love To. I knew it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Album, man. I you know, know, right? Anytime you drop some music, that's what's happening. That's anyway. right. That's, that's what's right. supposed to happen. That, exactly. What's up? What's up? Hey, you better come out at me. Okay. I bet. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, you know, she's just been a dream, you know, to work with. And she said I, something about her voice and my voice together is like it's perfect alchemy of uh, just just romance. And y'all gotta hear it. Come about. So. I decided to do a project that was all duets. My upcoming project is all duets with me and female artists. Mm-hmm. And uh, I wrote a bunch of songs uh, with a bunch of producers. And, you know, I, uh, Alison Ball is the CEO of, of, of my label. And she had the brilliant idea that, you know, we need to, we need to go roll through Atlanta and uh, go holler at uh, Tricky and Lainey Stewart. Because, you know, they, they king of the world right now. Ooh. And um, so Laney was like, yo, you need to check this out. So he sent us the, the demo of the song, and I immediately resonated to this thing. And Tricky reached out to Tamar and said, Tamar, you think you want to jump on this with Eric Benet? And she didn't hesitate. It was like the same. Literally, the day he asked her, she was like, shoot, let me drive over to the studio right now. And she, she hopped in the vocal booth and killed it, y'all. You know what's crazy? People always see the reality TV show, Tamar. They don't get to see how she could, like, She's like a sniper when it comes to that music. Oh, shit. like she vocally, she's in. she's like as soon as you hear the song, it's like, like I don't I don't know that side of Tamar. I I know like this incredibly beautiful, sweet person. Whoever we hang out, we cracking up, laughing, making jokes. Right. And uh, she's just a sweetheart, and and vocally, she's a beast. Absolutely. So, so that's what's your, the, what's your process when you writing these ballads and these duets? What's the you know, that's a good question. So, um, my biggest hits. Are people always think songwriting is kind of like journalism? It's like, oh, you write, you writing that because you're going through that right now. But not, not so much with me. Some of my biggest romantic ballads I've written when I was just lonely, or, or, or there was a disconnect in my relationship. So basically, I'm writing about a fantasy that is not really happening in my life. And somehow, when I'm in that, 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 that empty place. I can find the words to describe what I want beautifully. And I think that's why they, like, like when I wrote uh, Spend My Life, the, the me, me and Tamiya joint, I, I hadn't been in a relationship and I don't know how long. And I was just like, dang, I just got to find somebody. So it's just, <laughs> so, so I started. We've been needing this content. Yeah, man. Now I make the record hit completely right. right. Just know right. what I want. Yeah, this is, yeah, exactly. So I started thinking about what do I want? I want? I want that person where I see them every morning when they open their eyes and I feel like, wow, this is where God put me just to find my peace, my yeah. side. So it's like, that was the. That's what I start writing about. So 
That's where that came from. Mr. Benet, could I ask you this? Like, what keep you Man, inspired? first of all, Mr. I'm E, man. <laughs> He tried to put uh, you in the box. Hey, no, we got an OG, a legend. I, he I just, hold up. He just was around the Disney star. And she was calling everybody, sir. And Mr. Oh, yeah, yeah, I yeah, saw yeah, that. Yeah, she yeah, was yeah, so cute. Yeah. 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 So I was like, I got to have respect. I can't call. Hey, Eric. No, you yeah. don't know me like man, that. You don't know me uh, like that, bro. I ain't call me E-E. E, uh, e, e, yeah, so E-B. Like there saying. you go. There you go. There you go. Now, what keep you inspired, though, like, just to keep putting out, like, you know what I'm saying, like, classic material, though? Man, I, uh, that's an excellent question. I think. I made a decision um, to make a long story short. Like before I got my first solo deal, um, the label was interested in me as an artist because they liked my voice. So they put me with all of these producers. We talking about in the 90s, right? Mm -hmm. And you know, there was a very distinctive sound of R&B in the 90s. Uh, and so they put me with all these producers that were, were getting placements and this, that, and the other. And I was out there, I was in LA for a couple months. And then at the end of the couple months, uh, I sat down with, um, with, with the A&R person and we listened to all these demos that I did with all these producers. And it was like, I sounded good on the songs, but there was some disconnect between the track and me. And so I said, how about this? How about this? How about this? Let me just go back to Milwaukee. I'll post up in the studio. I had a little bedroom studio. I'll call some of my cats in Milwaukee. I'm going to write some songs, and I'm going to just, like, do me. And when I got back to my, Milwaukee, I wrote all these songs. From my perspective, I was trying to uh, put in those songs all of those elements that made me fall in love with R&B music, being a kid growing up in the 70s. And that was the roads. That was horns. That was, like, strings on some stuff. <clears throat> and so when, when I let her hear that demo, the Milwaukee demo, they were like, that's it. So I think from that moment, I made the decision, you know what? I'm only going to record music that gives me those goosebumps of when I yeah. felt earth, when I heard Earth, Wind and Fire for the first time, when I was listening to Bobby Caldwell, when I hear uh, Donny Hathaway's voice, I want to use that as the barometer you know, regardless of what's happening trend-wise in music, I'm going to use that. So that's why I call the record true to myself. And that's why every time I write, that's my inspiration. I'm going to pull from my life and I'm going to just make sure it comes from like this authentic R&B place. So you never lose yourself and lose this. That's why I call my first album true to myself. And I, I, I pretty much stayed to form that whole yeah. time. That's what's up. Yeah. Brother, you, you're a great singer. Do you ever find yourself just like at the crib just making up shit that ain't gonna necessarily be a song? Oh man, that's like, like you ever made a dope ass song like washing dishes or some shit? Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's it's just like, that's part, that's, that's part of songwriting. It's like, sometimes it's, it, it's annoying to some people because there's always music. There's always melodies like, you know, especially if you're talking to somebody you don't, they really ain't grabbing your attention. The music will just start taking over, and I'll be like, nod my head, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm like, I'm like, oh shoot, that's a dope horn part right there, you know. So it it don't the music never stops. Sometimes it's not a part of a song that you're gonna put into something, but sometimes it is. You're like, oh, I gotta remember that transition. I'm gonna put that in something. So that, yeah, that's always going. Can on. somebody be taught how to sing? I think so. I think so, but I don't think you can be taught. Like, hmm, you can, th th there's, a, there's a certain uh, uh, authentic soul that can't be taught. You can be, you can be, your pitch can be imperfected, like things like your cadence and your timing can be uh, perfected, but there has to be like this raw soul there somewhere, I mean, Cause it, I always tell motherfuckers, y'all lucky I can't sing. Yeah, I'll be the most singing motherfucker you ever seen. Well, maybe you. I mean, can you? Is it that you can't hear the pitch, or do you feel like? Cause I'm sure you got some Bobby Womack song from back in the day, or yeah, something. I was gonna so, go. I was gonna go more blues, cause they don't really care too much about the singing. You probably be singing along message. with it, and you, the, the soul come out. Right, right? I got yeah. the soul part. The pitch is messed I just up though. Make sure the shit, <laughs> I want the shit to sound right. Okay, too. yeah, that could be taught. All I right, think babe. that could be taught. All right, I'm working on something then. I think so. Is it some sing singers uh, that that you all? Hip to now that like be catching your uh ear, you like, oh no, nah, they got a dope voice. Uh, uh, let's see, 
let's see who's who's whose voice whose voice do I, I i really like um i like uh man i i, I really love the lucky day i love the the october Ooh, london october go crazy okay uh i love um there's this icelandic singer uh, See, which is weird. I some know, yeah. like, like she's so dope, and she's like this quirky-looking white girl. But her name is uh, L- Laufy, Laufy. Uh huh. She she mixes a bunch of genres, but somewhere in her Icelandicness is like soul. It's like it. You it's, check that yeah, out, it's it's yeah. It it definitely ain't like straightforward r and it's it's something else how but do it's you dope. find something like that like how do you just always look uh, yeah you know you just peruse just be perusing okay. through what what's uh if or if i hear something you know we got technology now shazam you be in a restaurant you be like oh shit what is that so <laughs> Have you heard any of that korean like they got this korean version of 90s like r and b yo let me around. tell you something <laughs> let me tell you something from my travels to like to South Korea and Japan, they always take something and 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 hone in on it. And what they did, well, I don't think they really. Well, maybe they are, uh, but what they're doing with like '90s R&B is so dope. Some of these Korean and Japanese, but a lot of them are going back to some of these amazing producers from the 90s like they going they they getting dark child they getting right. teddy riley mm-hmm. to come over there and do they some they're not wrong but they are not wrong and that shit sounds incredible that's dope. yeah that's a lot of that stuff sounds incredible i can't tell you none of the names of them but but, but but sometimes it sounds good yeah sonically, be, sonically it yeah. sounds crazy yeah so look what's the date uh of the of the drop with the so, and all that so so the we officially the the song is out it's called Something We Can Make Love To, Tamar Braxton and myself. Uh, I think, uh, shoot, I think we're going to come out with the EP. We're coming out with an EP first in another uh, month and a half. And then after the EP, the top of the year, I'm releasing a whole album. Still duets, because I wrote too many songs, man. Oh, so right. Now let me ask you one more question. BET Awards 2024. Yeah. This is not your first rodeo with no. the BET Awards. Yeah. Give me one of your favorite BET Awards memories before we get up out okay, of here. Okay, that's good. Man, that's a good one. I'm trying to, shoot, didn't I do like a, uh, I'm trying to think. Did, didn't I do a tribute? What did I do? I did a, I, I did a couple tributes that I, uh, uh, dang, you put me on the spot I like did. a mud scratcher. That's, that's my job. Let's see. Uh, uh, I remember one time Shaka was performing. Come on. Uh, Come on. She she killed it. Uh, man, I remember another time uh, uh, Beyonce opened the show. That was crazy. Okay. Uh, uh, y'all remember that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What year and, was that? And I think uh, Monique came back and she redid the... Uh, the oh, yeah. Well, yeah, she, yeah, 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 yeah. It's a lot of them, man. It's a lot of them. For real. Eric Benet. I need you to come on the real show. Man. man, come on, what's up? I need you to come on the 85 South show. Come on, what's up? Get him on 85, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Wait, what's tell me, what, what, what city am I coming to? Atlanta. Man, I'm always in Atlanta. Come on, man. Let's exactly. make it happen. That, man, because I, I got a million and one questions. I got to go. Man, go. let's make it happen. I'll roll through. I got to bring my CD. We're going to have a CD player when you get there. <laughs> man, I got. That shit hit different on a CD player. Let's, it does. It hit way different. It really does. I was just, Like I said, I was just there with Tricky and Laney and, you know. Yeah, I know you be in the city. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm, Next time you down there, I got to catch you on R&B mode. Get my. My man, my man, uh, gonna get your contact, man. man and then, you gotta, you gotta come yeah, on the show. I'm coming through. All right, bet. I ain't gonna hold you all day. We got, yeah. we got plenty of duets to do, and I told you I'm working on something. I'm gonna send you something over. Man, come on. All right, man. Come on. BET Awards 2024. None other. Eric Benet, the yeah. ship leader, Nav Green. Yeah, yeah. South. We out of here. Hey, that was a pleasure, man. Man, great.